Hey, it's the OC Food Diva. We're back in the test kitchen again with Pareg Natural Foods. Today we're going to be working with green pea multi-purpose flour. And we're going to try the recipe on the back, which is the green pea fritters, which we'll have a link below because they have the recipe on their website. And you can also order the flour too. And this is... Um, it's kosher, it's non-GMO, high protein, all natural, gluten-free, vegan. So, yeah, made in the USA too. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients that go into this and then we'll get started. Here's a close-up of the packaging for the green pea multi-purpose flour. And we've got cumin baking soda, sour cream, salt, pepper, warm water, tomato, cilantro, onion, garlic, and lemon juice, freshly squeezed from my mom's tree, and we freeze it. So I just thawed out just enough to get whatever amount we need to get out and then I put it back in the freezer. Okay, we're going to go ahead and mix our ingredients together. First the dry ingredients. We've got our pea, green pea flour. Baking soda. And then we've got salt, pepper, and cumin. And I'm going to take a whisk and just kind of mix it together so I get that baking soda distributed. And then we're going to add our semi-wet ingredients. Our garlic, our onion, Cilantro, and lemon juice. I'm just going to kind of mix it together. It's still going to be dry. We're going to add water. We're going to go ahead and put this in the fridge for 15 minutes. It will also let the pea flour absorb some of the liquid here. Okay, we've got our batter ready. And um, in the directions, they say to pan fry it, but I like my fritters deep fried. So we've got some peanut oil here up to 350. And we're gonna go ahead and start start dropping them. Okay, we deep fried them for five minutes. So now we're going to let them drain for a little bit. And then we're gonna take them out. Put them on some paper towel. They puffed up so beautifully. Okay, and then if, whenever you oh, whenever you take something out of the fryer, you need to salt, salt it, season it. Well, sorry about that. I forgot to hit record. And I assembled the fritters with the sour cream and tomato and cilantro. So, but here it is. It's, it's very pre pretty. They puffed up nicely. And they're just right for like appetizers. We'll have the link below so you can uh, make these for yourselves and also order this flour and try it. It uh, smells wonderful. 
and you can see all the cilantro in the the fritter outside so i can't wait to break it in open and see what it looks like inside actually let's do that so you can see what it looks like i'm assuming it's gonna look kind of like a falafel but we shall see oh it's pretty see that in there so it's got a, a slight green color to it hope you like this video don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel we'll see you next time mahalo